hot. Alright, this may be hot. Let's see what happens. But I think I can put this up to my lips. Am I about to burn the shit out of my lips though? Did that look sexual? Oh my god. <laughs> what? I think I just heard an animal fart behind me. Greetings, Earthlings. Guess what? It's Ben Aqua. I'm out here in the middle of the Shenandoah Mountains. There's a forest creature over there. They said there would be bears here, so. He looks ferocious too. Don't eat me, don't eat me. A lot of y'all have seen my recent video with this lens. This is the Panasonic 12 millimeter F 1.4 lens. Yes, I'm in the middle of a damn mountain talking about a lens, but you know, hashtag YouTube life. What better way to test out the dynamic range of this lens than with this beautiful nature? It's cold, my hands are shivering a little bit, but uh, come with me in the Shenandoah Mountains and witness the beauty the beauty of nature. Because I know nothing about cars, I learned on this trip all the way from Texas to New York what an axle was on a car when I was going through these really confusing toll signs that like you ever drive up to a toll in like New Jersey and there's 18,000 signs and all they have to do is say cars three dollars okay but there's 18,000 signs going up to these tolls and I said if your car has six axles or eight axles or 13 whatever and I was like I don't know how many damn axles a car has and then I learned that my car has two axles because it has four wheels. This is why I'm a photographer and I'm not an auto mechanic or any of that stuff. Just saying. I am a total cheapskate. We got to the gates, like the front gate, and we were like, oh, we'll just drive into the, into the mountains and see this amazing national park. And they were like, $30 entry fee. And we, we actually thought about it. We are like, we drove all the way up here, but we are like, $30 though? Is it gonna be worth $30? But then we drove up to this. And I mean, I think just seeing this alone is worth $30 at least. Cause it's priceless. Like damn, nature did this. I'm just really excited that there's finally some sunlight outside because the entire trip up all the way up from Texas to New York City it was just like pure rain the entire time so we finally have some sun I realized recently that I'm actually a big fan of moss. It's like that green stuff on stumps and stuff. Are you a fan of moss? Let me know in the comments. I'm just a, I'm just a fan of moss. You know, I'm a moss fan. I'm, do you like moss? I, I like moss. Moss. I love the world, it's such a beautiful place. It is getting quite nippy out here. Y'all can see this insane sunset happening behind me here that's just ethereal in its glow. What else do I really need to say? This is insane. Shenandoah Mountains, you get five stars. And it's so quiet. 
I didn't see any chipmunks though. I really wanted to see some chipmunks, but I'm not complaining because this is bonkers beautiful right here. Let's go down the alley. So we're here in Knoxville, Tennessee, walking down dark alleys oh, in the middle that's of the day. The place is right there. Oh, we're also drinking really good coffee. Um, across the street from a cemetery, which is kind of cool. Okay, thank you. Mm. Yes. Really good news, y'all. This has nothing to do with photography, lenses, or anything. Even more importantly, I just stepped in a giant pile of horse shit. Is it, I think it's bad luck to film cemeteries, so I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna have like a lot of bad luck coming up, but coffee and cemeteries, weird combination. This is also really important. The people working at that bagel shop were talking about Bjork beating up paparazzi, and it made me very happy. Nashville, Tennessee. I almost said Nashville, Texas, but we're in Tennessee. Are we in Nashville or are we in Greece? What? Apparently, not apparently, it's right behind me. Yeah, there's no apparently about it. 1897, the city built this the Parthenon, not the Pantheon, the Parthenon for like the World Fair. And then they were like, all right, well, what the hell do we do with it now? And it was too expensive for them to demolish it, so they just kept it up here forever in the middle of Nashville, Tennessee. And they put in marble floors and just kept it here as a permanent installation. It's kind of amazing and ridiculous and beautiful at the same time. Look at all these influencers trying to get likes and comments. Y'all thirsty. That one's laughing at me. What's so funny? Step number 28 or four or whatever of our road trip. We are now in Hot Springs, MF Arkansas. And the first thing we saw here, well, First thing you saw here was like a 24 hour convenience store. But the second thing we saw here was a Confederate flag. So, don't say anything too aggressive, Ben. Is it? Oh! It's like a vegetarian pizza. This is good. The last time I was in Hot Springs, Arkansas, I was playing this DJ gig and it was just drama from the minute I got there until I left. It was kind of amazing. I could not look away. The weirdest thing that happened that night, it was in this really old building I just set up to DJ and right when I started to DJ, one of the windows just collapsed. It fell and then just smashed on the ground and everyone thought it was like a gunshot or something but I was like, this place is haunted. I need to get the hell out of here. And over here, we have more moss. I think I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog right here, surrounded by this beautiful 
scene right here. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. I got some other juicy stuff coming up soon. Almost at 5,000 subscribers, a bit of a milestone for me. Somebody said that if I get 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2018, I should take my shirt off for a video, so there might be that coming up soon. Hope you're doing well. Leave me a comment, drop me a like, subscribe, notification bell. You know what to do. Go out there, shoot some awesome stuff, have a great time, enjoy life, and I'll see you in the next one. Sorry, I don't have any food. Please don't bite me. Hey, what's your YouTube?